Hey guys, welcome back to the Vanity Chair. It's Shaylee. I'm so excited. I made a tutorial for you guys today, finally. I know you guys have been asking for tutorials. It just takes me longer to make and to edit and things like that. So I um, finally made one today using mostly the Vibe Tribe collection from MAC. It's patterned really cute like that. This is their summer collection and it's inspired all by deserts, music festivals, that kind of a vibe. And I did a whole video actually showing you guys all of the stuff I purchased from the collection. So that'll be down in the description box if you guys want to see that video as well. I kind of show you swatches and things like that. But um, that makeup I was wearing in that video, you guys said, oh my gosh, we want a tutorial on it. And I just was so excited because it's a really fun look, I think. So that's what I did today. And if you want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. First, I'm just applying some MAC Painterly Paint Pot as my eye primer today. Whatever you have at home, just make sure you prime your eyes. We're going to be using both palettes from the collection, mainly this one. This is called Wild Horses, but we are going to be using the highlight from the other palette. This one, just because it's sparkly, it's not matte like in the other palette, and it's so gorgeous. I've been using this highlight every single day. It's so pretty. So we just want to put that under the brow bone and then we're going to apply a best friend color to our crease area. I'm using soft brown, but whatever works for you, you know, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, MAC Saddle, just some type of brown that's going to help you blend out our next crease shade. So our crease shade that I'm going to use is Charcoal Brown out of the Wild Horses Vibe Tribe palette. And I'm going back quite a bit, maybe three or four times and just layering this in the crease because I really want it dark. And I'm just using a MAC 224, but any long tapered brush like this will work. And like I said, I'm showing you a long clip because I just go back and forth and just add and add until I got that color dark enough for what I wanted. Now we're going to go back in the outer corner and deepen it up even more with this chocolatey brown color. I don't know what this brush is. It's by Morphe, but it's basically like a MAC 217 or a Sigma E25, just one of those blending white hair brushes. And I'm patting the color on the outer corner and then buffing a little bit up into the crease. Now I'm going back with that same white highlight sparkly shade. It's so pretty. I seriously just use it every single day. I know I already said that, but I can't get over it. So I'm packing this all over my whole lid today with a flat shader brush. And you want to take it pretty much from like the inner corner to about three quarters of the way across your eyelid. And same kind of thing here. I'm just going back three or four times, packing the color on just to make it really, really bright. Then I'm just taking a clean 224 right where the lid meets the crease. That way there's no harsh line right there. Next, I'm going in with some gel liner. This is Black Track from MAC. And then I'm going in with an angled brush to create a wing liner. You can do whatever kind of liner your heart desires. You can even do no liner, but I really am into the wing again lately. I tried for a while to kind of switch it up because I love doing a wing liner, but now I'm back at it. So like you just saw, I curled my lashes and I'm just applying some Zoom Lash from MAC and then I'm going to pop on these little Demi Wispies from the drugstore. These are Ardell. I love these, you guys. They're so cheap and they just give you enough. You know, it's not super dramatic, but it does give you a little bit of length and thickness. To prime my skin today, I'm using the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. This is a newer product and I absolutely love it. It's just been making my skin look really nice. And then I'm going in with some Marc Jacobs Remarkable... I think that's what it's called. It's just a really full coverage matte foundation. And I'm just pouncing this on with my beauty blender. I love using a beauty blender lately because since you dampen the blender before you go in with your foundation and everything, it just adds a lot of moisture into your skin too. And then I'm just going in with some Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer under my eyes. This is in the shade number 6, I believe, or 5. So it's pretty close to my skin tone, but I just wanted basically to brighten it up and cover my dark circles under there. Next I'm going to set it with some Kat Von D yellow setting powder and I'm using her little shade and light brush too. It's so soft you guys. I love this brush and I forgot I had it for a while so I'm bringing that back out lately. Now we're going in with the Sculpt Bronzer from the collection. This one's called Delphic and I'm going to be using this brush from the collection. It is so nice. You guys are going to see in a minute. It's just so easy for contouring because of its shape right here. So first I'm doing a little up in the hairline just because this foundation A is a little bit too light for me and B just because I want to look a little tanner and bronzy for summer. And so as you can see you can use this brush to do any kind of bronzing but watch this right here. It's like a cheek contour in two seconds. It is just so easy and this brush is limited edition you guys so make sure you get it. It comes out every once in a while so if for some reason it's sold out by the time this video goes up don't worry it probably will come out again at some point but you can't buy it all the time. Now I'm going in with the Sigma brush. All of these numbers will be listed in the down bar but this one's even skinnier and it's synthetic so I wanted this one 
to put this cream color base on the tops of my cheekbones. This is from the Vibe Tribe collection as well. It is called Yellow Topaz. And what we're doing here is basically we're highlighting the cheekbone, but since it's a cream color, it's going to be a little softer. And then later, I'm going to go back with a powder one right on top. And doubling that up is just going to make it last longer and really make it pop. So for blush, I'm using Warm Soul, and I'm going to use the blush brush out of the collection. I love it because it's um, duo fiber. As you can see, it's like, I think they call it split fiber. So it has natural hairs, which is what I'm using right now. And on the other side is synthetic. So you can use whichever side you want. Synthetic will give you more color payoff, and you can also use it with cream products. But that Warm Soul blush is normal, like MAC, sold all the time. You guys really should get it. It's my favorite blush. Now, like I said, we're going back with that Gleam Tones Highlight Powder. It is so beautiful. It kind of comes out to like a pinky lavender once you swirl it all together. I'm just using a highlighting brush from Morphe, and I'm just basically putting that everywhere we put the yellow topaz cream color base. So you could not do this step if you want it to be a little softer, but I love a bright highlight, so that's why I'm doubling up on these products. So I'm going to hit top of the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, top of the lips, I'm going to do a little bit above my eyebrows as well. Now for the lips, I'm going in with MAC Prep and Prime Lip, and then we're going to use Plum Lip Liner. This is going to go perfect with our lipstick that we're going to use next, so that's why I chose kind of a darker lip liner. And then we're going to highlight the center of our lip with a lighter shade. So the first shade is Hot Chocolate. It's gorgeous. And then the, the lighter shade is called Arrowhead. So I'm just, I'm really into that dimension on the lips lately, but you can obviously just use one color if you want. And you could totally stop here, but we're not going to. We're going to add even more pops of color. So I'm going in with Flat White. This is a Pro Longwear uh, color stick under the eyes. These are limited edition. Unfortunately, I love them. I hope they become permanent. So I'm just dragging that under the eyes. It's like a crayon, and then buffing it out with a brush. These sticks dry really fast, so you want to work one eye at a time. So like I just buffed that one out, and now I'm going over and drawing it on the other eye. You don't want to draw it out before you buff it out. You know what I mean? Because they just dry so fast. So once you buff that out, you're going to go back and pack your shadow on top of it. And because it's white, it's just going to make our blue shadow really pop. So we're using Blue Mesa. This is from the Wild Horses collection. And I'm just buffing this everywhere. I just put that white paint stick. So this brush, I'll list it down below. I forget the name of it, but it's amazing because it's so soft. It's not scratchy under your eyes. It's from Morphe. And sorry, my eyes look so terrible here. It was kind of like irritating my eyes putting so much shadow up under there because I have allergies right now, but it's okay. It's worth it because it looks really pretty and nice pop of color. So now I'm coating my lashes with some MAC Giga Black underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to touch up my liner up top with some Kat Von D ink liner. I just like doing this because the glue is kind of shiny from my false lashes, so I always like to touch it up. Now I'm going to take my Bosha Matte Setting Spray and just finish this look off with a little setting. And there you have it. I hope you guys really like it. And it's really fun. So tag me on Instagram if you wear this look. I'd love to see your guys' recreations of it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.